Hello everyone, and welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we go back to Gunheim up here. Uh, I say up because we're in the far north, uh, and they still have that need over there. Uh, we have a couple of tools, which is nice, but last episode we killed a bunch of uh, barbarians and we're going to sell all of their gear because their gear sucks, and uh, it's not worth repairing. So we just sell it for money, and that's that. They also have bundles of crude javelins, which actually are pretty decent prices. They also do a fair amount of damage. And of course, the throwing axes are better, but it's uh, it's not for us. Not for us. The javelins are really beautiful. Yep, not for us. So, what are we doing today, considering, uh, well, considering we don't want that mission? Well, we're leveling up for one thing. We're also hopefully finding somebody that we can hire. Um, we're also hopefully repair repairing all of our faces. Mad Larkin is leveling up on a pretty serious, good good one right there. Uh, we got a little bit of resolve over here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't. It's, I'll go with a little bit of melee defense right there for Mad Larkin. Level nine. He's not specialized on anything. Although I could specialize him in military picks, or pickaxe. Oh, what are they called? I actually don't know what they're called. Hammers? Is that what they're called? Yes, they are. Destroy armor and demolish armor uh, are basically the two skills that we get. And of course, there's the pole hammer that we can start using. Wait a minute. Is that the pole hammer? No. What? There's the pole mace. Maces and hammers, they're different things, even though they're not, like, from a, n n the name is not, it, they're the same thing from the name, and also from the way they're used, but not in the video game, obviously. Let's go with hammer, because uh, I think that is a good idea. Uh, the thing is, like, he's not very good, so it's kind of, I don't know, uh, he can, he can handle, he can handle, we got a headhunter, a berserker would be nice, berserker on everybody would be nice, but I think... For people who are not supremely good, it is better to have other things. Just because they don't get the kills as reliably as I want them to. And especially in... Like, it's... If you get... If you have a character who kills three people on average per... Per combat. Then one of those kills, you're going to be able to strategize around... Actually being able to... to one of those three kills, rather. Um, on average, you're going to be able to strategize around actually being able to get two kills in a row. Uh, it works really well later in the... In the... Um, <laughs> That's the what, yeah. It works really well later in the uh, in the battles, but by that time you don't really need the, it to work really well. Later in the battles, uh, when you're already winning, is uh, when you are fine with uh, just missing left and right. Honestly, that's I I wish my RNG was packed like that. Just good rolls at first and then better rolls at the end. I've I've seen many RNG happen and. Uh, I've seen also good rolls first and bad rolls at the end go really, really bad for me. Because sometimes things start out well and then they're not well. Uh, so we have an armorer over here who doesn't sell anything interesting. Now I say that, but some interesting things, but it's just not for us. Uh, and uh, some things to sell as well. A hire. It's a hunter. Now, I think we're safe coming on hunters. I, I think, well, I, th I think we're safe coming on hires from now on. It's only fair, right? It's only fair. Is it only fair? I don't know if it is only fair. But, like, the... It is... Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think this is bad. I... Honestly, personally, I recommend that you play like this. It is more fun. That way. It also allows you to play on harder difficulties. Because I'm not playing on harder difficulties. And we... I would have died already if I were playing on harder difficulties. Um, but, uh... But if you don't want to do what I'm about to do... Then, uh... Playing, uh playing on harder difficulties is considerably harder because you just can't rely on especially with the 12 people oh no it's a mission i click on the mission by mistake it's not a problem a few peasants are roaming outside the halls of the room you can hear their shouting and it is of a nervous tone guntram the wise pours a drink and sips it with a shaking hand i'll just be clear with you sellsword we have many many reports that brigands are about to attack this town oh say no more uh, that is actually a lot of money. I will accept that. Uh, I'll accept that right now, in fact. But it doesn't matter, because what we're doing is we're getting Hartmut. Hartmut, rather. 
Uh, to replace. Uh, I think it's Gearhead. I might need to. Okay. He's not good. But. He's not bad either. It's Othma, the speaking crab. Right, I remember. Let's see what he has. What is that? Swift. Not bad. Of course, we're going to need him to to uh, be on the up and up in terms of uh, actually leveling up. But, you know, you know what? I like that. 58 in comparison to a 67. Of course, there's a lot of levels. And I'm pretty sure the the backgrounds actually change the ranges or the not the ranges but the how often they get uh, higher levels of, of uh, level ups I'm pretty sure that happens so you know that's oh I forgot the name I'm so sorry I'm so sorry welcome back Hothma speaking crab fantastic name I didn't capitalize crab how how dare I do these things so there we go. Welcome back. You got a nice beard now. That goes well with a turban. Or what is it called? What is that thing? Nomad Light Helmet. It is the thing. It's the... I, yes. Um, so, we're waiting. The armor is not going to give us anything. Their prices are probably going to go up a little bit. So we need to defend uh, this from, outing, from raiding parties on a two-skull mission. Are we fixing anything? We are getting... We're not fixing anything, but we're getting a... Um, uh, ambition. As the company takes a break, you decide to arrest the men. Brothers, I want everyone to know the sinners of the sword are not just cutthroats and errand boys, but skilled fighters of the fi First Order. Word of our deeds must spread so that merchants and noblemen are begging us to take their contracts. What are we doing here? The fires of religious turmoil threaten to engulf the lands. Let the company be forged stronger in than ever by its heat and flames and earn a, winning earn a future by winning the war. Let's see. Uh, what do I actually need to do? Pick either of the northern houses of the uh, or the southern city states to work with to win their holy war. So I just need to pick. Nah, that's gonna take forever, and I, I don't want it. I also don't want to go in there. Only the most daring take on goblins in larger numbers. We shall burn some of their fetid camps to the ground. I think that's four. I need to do four of them. Is it? Destroy four locations. Yes, it is. We shall outfit uh, the contingents. The contingent have three pieces of body armor and three helmets with each, each with 230 durability or more. I think that can be just completed because I think I have that. 230? No, I don't. That said, we have some armor that we can pad people with. Like, for example, you. You have serpent skin thing. Reduces damage from fire and firearms. Yes. We also have some helmets. The helmets are not up there. 230 is quite a lot. It is quite a lot, but the upgrades are enough to to make to make me win this. And of course, now I look cool. I mean, I looked cool already, but still, now I look cool. Uh, let's see, nothing else. There's nothing. Oh man, yeah, maybe the armorer has something for me. So what do I need? Uh, is it over here? It is over here. It's no, it's not one of those sneaky, sneaky missions that uh, that forced me to go to another place and I and ruin my day. Yeah, this armorer doesn't even have upgrades. While standing guard, a crazed peasant comes running up up to you. He's slack-jawed, out of breath. Hands on his knees, he, he damn near vomits out the words. The dead, they're coming. Oh, no. Okay, so hopefully just zombies. Peering over him, you do indeed see a throng of rather pale creatures shuffling in the distance. Do I? Because I don't see nothing. And it's... 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 Hmm. News is coming that the Gilded Ones have conquered the Oracle. Good for them. What they plan to do with it, who knows. Maybe put up a gold-plated fence to keep the Northerners out. You're most, <laughs> you're mostly concerned the fight, the fighting might be nearing an end, and with with it all the sweet religious honey the Sinners of the Sword have been eating up. No, we have not. It is terrible. I die a lot. I don't like the dying. Oh, there they are. We see uh, thrall. What are they? A fallen hero. Adelmar the Obsessed. Okay, this is actually pretty tricky. Lots of armored Vitor Gangers. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be pretty bad. We're all gonna die. And I hate it. I hate it. 
The fallen hero is not the issue, but the um, the necromancer is. <laughs> uh, so spear balls. The soundtrack is so lovely. This soundtrack is so lovely. Here comes the controlled one. Oh, they're going to take forever, aren't they? So the spear walls don't matter. Here. Uh, what do I want to do? 55s. Let's land some shots. 71s. 75s. Break that armor with your arrows. Really bad idea, but... 80% there. We're clinically cynical. And of course we have dogs. Those are going to help. And that's Necromancer. So we know how to approach uh, that guy over there. 59. 67. Okay. Othma is not that bad at shooting. He lands his first shot. Since his reincarnation, naturally. Um, okay. So yeah, the moving in the snow is going to be tricky. Hmm, I love the soundtrack. It's so good. Okay, that spear wall actually paid off. And we're waiting with our... Hmm, that's curious. What do I want to do? Do I want to send you over here? Because that is pretty exposed. Let's not do that. Send Bernard up. Start working some heads the best we can. We're not gonna spear ball up there, and of course they're they're gonna. Um, they don't have ranged combatants, so it should be fine. They're gonna defend the necromancer, but I'm not overly concerned with that. Ilias goes in with a broken leg, 86% chance to hit, and did indeed hit. Uthuru, 75 gets a kill. Stays where he is. Everybody else does the same. Uh, I'm actually going to go down here for uh, blowing up the horn pretty soon. That guy's an, e an issue. Because uh, that helmet is enormous, and I don't like enormous helmets. No no pun intended. That even sounds bad. It's just... Yes. Okay. As expected. So, who has the control? Nobody has the control? The control doesn't work normally? Huh. Okay, so I want our scouts at the front. Let's see, 3957 gave me something. Landed at that again. Pretty good, so we're, you're waiting. Uh, you're not. Yeah, killing these guys early is a good idea. Uh, let's see, if I move over here, I will be able to attack. Uh, killing them early is a good idea because... Okay, now we have line of sight. I might be able to shoot from there. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, it's a good idea because, of course, uh, they get, might get controlled, I, although maybe that's wrong, given what just happened. Uh, so Fanny's is going to spear ball. Bernard is going to miss. Uh, and uh, 95 over there. We're just going to hang out and do some damage. And here comes the damage. Three attacks. Okay. That was Fanny is there doing the spear wall was a good decision. Interesting that they can't move and attack at the same time, as shown by this guy. And this guy over here is just gonna die, and we're gonna be fine. Hmm. Okay. We need to move two more, twice more. It's quite a lot. Should have moved uh, another one to get better to hit chance. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. With the Thuru, I mean. They seem to be very preoccupied with defending the back line. Which is fair enough. All things considered, it is a pretty important part of their strategy here. Uh, let's wait with Gearhead. Uh, let's wait with Sakrin. And let's start shooting. Clinically Cynical has got a 32% chance to hit. 
lens. Iron Jesus loves me. And that's all I have to say on the matter. 12% chance to hit for Othma. Of course, he doesn't have all the nice... All the nice things that I like, but... Uh, you know, it's distraction. Uh, that guy is an issue. Let's see if I can do a spear. Well, probably not. That guy did not die. Hello. Okay. Spirit wall up there. Yeah, that spirit wall is never gonna happen. At least not before they come. Ooh! That dodge, though. Oh, no. Not that dodge. He's got Battle Forge, though, so I should be fine on that. Of course, the Resurrects are gonna be a bit of a pain. But that's just how it goes. Helia stays at the back. And now, we pray that Phanius doesn't miss, because Phanius tends not to miss. Your head missed, though. Sakrin didn't. That arms didn't, either. Uh, what can I do here? Can't do much. But Athuru goes in, in here, because we're probably gonna need to do some stuff over there. Uh, Brian is good to go. And yeah, if those guys left, that would be fantastic. See what clinically cynical has to offer 32%. Shots the guy shoots the guy in front. Othma. 12%. Let's go for it. Shoots the guy in front again. Okay, let's wait with gearhead there. Sakrin as well. This is still a dangerous position. Like, I know this is things that are under control, but these battles go south. Like, nobody's business. Spear walls are always very powerful, though. That battle forge is not gonna last forever. It is not lasting already. Hmm. <laughs> it's weird that they have somebody in the back, though. Uh, maybe I want to send people up here. I don't know. That way I'm protecting the back of the south line as well. Oh, they're controlling the... Oh, that was great. Because they're controlling the... Um, the the big guy. Oh man, our fatigue is not going to last forever either. So we need to land some shots here. Clinical is cynical. 32. Uh, let's see. Oh, that guy died, so I can do a 59% over there. Get our head. At least overwhelmed him. Uh, let's see. 12%. Let's do something, Othma. Ah. Fair enough. Uh, press F there. Shouldn't have. And that's a control on the back. At least not a control over here, which is good news. Because that can also go south pretty fast. And it is going pretty fast. I'm right, he's on his last legs there. Phanius. Okay, let's see. Okay, so things are a little bit better as of right now. None of this is a guarantee of anything, though. That armor is pretty good, isn't it? I wish I could hit it. Uh, okay, so. That didn't apply there. That's a shame. Those guys are not moving. Although I have no illusions that this guy doesn't immediately come over here the moment this guy dies. Got another shot on the Necromancer, though, so that is lucky. Uh, let's wait until they come in. And then everybody does wait as well. Othma, 12%. Othma is, Othma is pretty exhausted as well. A miss. That's what I've been craving. And a resurrect. A couple of resurrects, in fact. Hmm. I think we're gonna need to become a li a, a little bit more aggressive.
because things are not looking up. Man, that dog and that shield. Okay, so you are going to wait because this guy needs to die from, by somebody else. You did die from that, which is very lucky. That guy only attacks once, which is surprising. Thru goes in. I'm relatively confident about that decision. That's a nice hit back there. Uh, and then we're just going to try to get gear ahead to pelt the... Uh, the necromancer as well and that's a head out that guy's not coming back those are very very important mad larkin goes in gets a dog out and these guys are gonna resurrect so it's like this is not even it's not even enough oh nobody resurrected automatically Okay, clinically cynical. 33. Shoot the guy in front. Uh, Uthuru. Breaks a helmet. Knight at arms lands the hit. That's all I'm asking. Sakreen goes in. Uh, and, uh, Gearhead moves in as well. Because, again, we're trying to land some hits. And Bernard goes in as well, of course. This takes forever to move. Let's get Othma in a better position here. That doggo is not happy about that. Unfortunately, that is a dodge. I am trying to bait these out of here, by the way. But they're not moving. Which is good, because our archers are also going to... Well, Othma is going to do some things. Hamrad is exhausted. That is a resurrect. And the control somewhere. Up here, that control could have been a kill, but it isn't. Ilias is now... That's bad news, actually. Oh, fortunately, they suck. Good. And then you... Get a kill again. That You've killed that guy so many times by now. That's the problem with this battle. Uh, that gives me hope. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this tastes good. It is the good taste. 33% back there. That's another miss. Um, let's uh, move you over here. Let's see what I can do. 35, much better now. Oh, actually, that's your head. It's not Othma. Come on, doggo. Head. Okay. Uh, Bernard is not really having any. Othma now does a 13. Doggo. Dodges. Mm-hmm. Nice. I need somebody back there. It's possibly going to be a dog. Because that guy's going to rotate. Hmm. Yeah, another resurrect and a control. And another resurrect. That guy's almost dead. Fanny. Yeah, we're also exhausted. It's all down to the to the um, archers. Ooh, the necromancer is upset. I didn't expect that. Okay, that guy's not leaving there unless he wants to get bitten, which, admittedly, is is not particularly threatening as a possibility. I got it. We kill the necromancer, and we are victorious, or should be. Because, you know, we still have to kill them. But apart from that, I mean, we're victorious. They're also not going to lose morale. Because that's not how undead is. Uh, okay. Might as well have gone for that. Oh, look at them. They want to fight. Uh, th there's also the possibility of them just resurrecting. Which I don't appreciate. Uh, let's send the dog out. Since I'm so exhausted. Got a kill. Got a kill. I was gonna say nobody's gonna resurrect. That is a lie. That is a lie. 
Unfortunately, our dogs eat the resurrects. They eat them. With the, the teeth. Okay. Your head. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna... It's not gonna end in a kill very a anytime soon, unfortunately. Off go the dog. Z oh. Fortunately, not attacking the dog. Yeah, we have the team up here. We don't need to worry too much. Uh, what what happened right there? You did, oh, you probably like is losing some of the stats and whatnot from killing. That's probably what that is. Luther is ready. Oh, crap, I forgot about that. I honestly did. We should be fine. That guy has a purple tongue. Did you see? That zombie. That zombie's dead. Can't attack you here. Can't attack you from there. You're out of ammo. Sure. Let's not attack there. That is a kill. And we should be fine, because that, that guy is almost dead. And it's Fanius. Wow. Okay, Brian the Lion leveled up, which is unbelievably good. We got a Dark Cowl. Sounds better than, than it, it is. We did get a unique weapon, our first unique weapon, 48-something episodes into the Let's Play. We got ourselves a... a it's basically a 10% improvement on the damage. Um, Necromancer's Bloodletter. It's, it's a unique dagger. It's probably the... Rubby, rubbishiest. Rubbishiest? That's that's what it is. Uh, rubbishiest. It's the rubbishiest. Well, it's actually not a 10%. It's an incredible amount. So, on maximum, our normal uh, Catal dagger does 45. This one is, does 58, which is 13 more. Uh, which sounds about like a 15% in, in, increase. It is indeed, even on the lower damage, it goes from 30 to uh, 38. And of course, effectiveness against armor also in gets increased by 13 percentile points, which is 15% of 70 um, percent. And except the damage that ignores armor didn't really get upgraded, but that's fine. I don't hold it against anybody. So uh, do I want? I don't want. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want this. This dagger is good, but it's not. It's not for. It's not what I need it for. I need the daggers that puncture. Because those are, are the ones that uh, that will give me armor when I find some armor that I'm like, ooh, I want that. And I have found some of that armor already. I just uh, didn't get the opportunity necessarily all the time. Okay, so, Brian the Lion, who is incredible, honestly. Um, incredible. Uh, might want to get maximum fatigue. Do I want to go up on melee again? I want to go on, up on melee defense, but not so much on melee. No, I want to go up on melee. Do I want to go up on resolve? Yes, I want to go up on resolve. We we, we do need 50 resolve. Um, and uh, when is this given to me? When when is it given back? Oh, it is. it has already been given back. This is the level when we get two points. Two things. Which is lovely. It is amazing. So, headhunter is a thing. Um, fearsome is not needed, as far as I can tell. Although it might Im improve the fear checks. Killing Frenzy is something I want. Especially because he gets so many kills. So I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, footwork is definitely something I want. But is it something I want right now? For him. It's not something I've missed for him. Especially because he has so much room anyway. And nobody can hit him as it is. Um, so. Recover is always nice. Quick hands is a pretty decent thing. If I want to have him just dual wield some things. Uh, which I might want. I might want to change the, the type of weapon he, he has. But actually, you know what? I think it's a better idea to change the type of weapon he uses. Like, for for example, right now he's been using a pole mace. But if I give him an axe and he just goes around with the axe, uh, that might be a better weapon to have. It certainly does more damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to give him axe mastery. Two masteries. That is a waste. Well, that is. Uh, but that's the thing. With, you know, it's just how it goes. I think it's better than that. Because the thing is... 
Mace ma bolt mace mastery is pretty good, but I need I need axes. I need uh I need things. I need things here. Uh, and it's the scrats. It's the scrats. We I mean, we saw the scrats. They they're. I mean, we didn't actually see the scrats. It's a good thing that we didn't, because those things will kill us. Either way, um, I could just keep a a mace in the back pocket and just be like, <laughs> you know, come here and smack them in the face. Uh, but that's that's gonna hand. That's gonna be pretty decent. It is very very powerful. This guy is unbelievably powerful. But we're out of time for the day, so I don't know if that is the end. I, th I don't think it is the end of the episode, or not, not, not of the episode, but of the uh, of the battle. But for right now, it is the end of the episode. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.